Hello, Leo. Welcome back to Neo Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the second half of May. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre shuffled, as always. We will shuffle live. Let's get into your reading, Leo. During that meditation, Spirit showed me um, the sign of Neptune, of the planet Neptune. And Neptune is the planet of inspiration. And it's just the higher octave of Venus. But what I got from that was you're becoming more spiritual, but also be mindful of disillusion. Okay. So take that for what it's worth. All right. The other things that I was getting were there's going to be some shakeups this month for you, specifically the 20th onward. Um, and it feels like you're more attuned to your intuition and more awake. Okay. It just feels like you're, yeah. And it also feels like there's a path that's not seen. There's a path that may not be, they may, how do I say this? There's a path that may not seem clear, but follow your inspiration. Follow where that's going to take you. All right. So again, there's going to be shakeups. Uh, you're going to be feeling more attuned to your intuition. Uh, be mindful of signs and alignment. Okay. Looks like that's where we're going. Um, and it just feels like you're more awake. But again, be mindful of disillusion. All right. Like, oh, like illusions. All right. Be mindful of that. Okay. We, we've got, a, we've got a lot going on here. We've got a lot going on here. Let's see. All these came out, so they want them. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, I have space for all of these cards. I do. Thank goodness. Okay. The Two of Pentacles came up in the pre-shuffle, not this particular Two of Pentacles, but from the other decks that we'll be using. Okay. So it feels like you may be weighing something on your mind or juggling a little bit too many things. Okay, so take that how it resonates. All right, we have Judgment, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Page of Wands, the Female King of Pentacles in this deck. We have both male and female. You have the Female King of Pentacles. We have Death, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Female King of Wands. Again, we have both male and female kings in this particular one, but we have the female in both. Very interesting. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, Leo. Nice. All right. Here's that, here's that judgment, that waking up, right? What I had said earlier, where it feels like you're more attuned to intuition and more awake. I feel like that's what this is talking about. It's, it's like you're waking yourself up from a, from a period of I wouldn't say darkness. I would say of difficulty, okay, uh, where you you were kind of going through things, trucking through things um, just because you had to, all right? I don't feel like it was dark. I'm not saying that it wasn't dark. I'm just saying that it just feels like you're more attuned. You feel more calm. You feel more aligned with yourself in this particular judgment call. And it feels like you're the one that after, now that you are awake, I feel like now you are calling things in. Like I almost see you as the judgment person, male or female, doesn't matter. Just feels like you're now calling things in to you because you are now awake. All right? I hope that makes sense. For some of you, you have 
um, a spirit or an angel that is around you that is guiding you from another realm. So I, I feel for some of you, there's it's somebody that's here on earth, but for a lot of you, it's someone that's already in spirit form. Okay. I just feel here, like you feel stronger. You feel so much stronger. You have better boundaries. You have, hey, look, he's pulling, like he's, he's, you know, it almost feels like he's pulling out and breaking free, but it also feels like he's pulling it in. So in some essence, it feels like you're breaking out of a certain mold that you were supposed to fit in. But at the same time, it feels like you are binding these bars together and saying, nope, can't get past this. So whatever that looks like for you, okay? Um, I feel like it's a little bit of both for for everyone, but it just feels like you've overcome a lot. You know, maybe a little bit of toxicity, a little bit of um, needing to self-nurture, uh, like there's battles here. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? I see an anchor here. Like you felt like you were um, like held down or held back is thank you spirit held back. Feels like you were held back and now you're like, no one's holding me back. I'm, I'm freeing myself from whatever. Okay. And it feels like, yes, you're doing the work, but it feels like whatever work you're doing, you feel lighter. I mean, not only are you carrying, you know, a lot of flowers, right? Yes, it's going to be work, but whatever work this is, it just feels lighter. And you're like, I'm going to stop and smell the tulips or whatever these are, right? But not only that, but you're wearing it. This dress is of is made of, well, it's not made of flowers, but it has flower a flower print on it which means that you yourself are also flourishing. You yourself are the one creating this lighter energy. I hope that makes sense because that's what I'm getting here. All right, with this seven of swords, you know, it's almost like you broke free from something that encased you and now you're um, flourishing. You're, you're, I mean, look, we have flowers here. We have flowers here, flowers here. There's big flower, 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 flower. Do you know what I'm saying? There's flowers in a majority of these. Uh, uh, and there's uh, several court cards actually as well. Um, and then one, two, three, three major arcanas. So this is a pretty, pretty big shift. Pretty big shift from being in this, being encased in this shell right? It feels like you, you were in this shell because if you look right here, I, I'm going to see if we can get this to zoom in. If you see there's an egg here, but it almost looks like it's missing. And it feels like you broke out and now you're holding it. It felt small, but now you're like, this is mine. This, whatever this is, it's mine. Um, and it feels like you broke out of something right? You broke out of whatever that was that was encasing you. And now you're getting your cornucopia. And I'm not saying you're getting your cornucopia right now, but it feels like you are slithering away, looking good, looking good. And you're going to start building the things that you want to build, going towards the things that you wanted to do, but you were held back with this anchor. You're held back from doing. And you're like, no, I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting the things that matter to me moving forward. And now anything else that comes into way, it, you know, in your way or in your atmosphere, you're going, I need to think about it before I speak about it. I need to think about it. I need to inspect this. If you're not doing that yet, I, I I caution you to make sure that you're paying attention to all of the things and really don't jump into things because the page of wands is, yes, it's, it's a person of, it's, it's someone who looks into things, but it's also like quick. 
You know, it's also, uh, you know, because this is wands, this is an inspiration. You go from the page of wands to the key, uh, king of wands, right? And so it's almost like you are in the beginning stages of becoming this king of wands. But this is also asking you to really inspect. Don't just jump into something. Look into it first. Make sure you have all of the details because in this particular card, if you look right here, I'm going to see if we can, can you see that right there? It's, it's almost like there is a hidden, it's not a bird, but it looks like a bird. So it feels like there's a hidden, there's something hidden that's right in front of you, but you really need to get a closer uh, look at, sorry, my camera just shook. It feels like you need to take a closer look at something, whatever that is. I'll look into, uh, I'll look into this a little bit more. Okay. But we have the uh, king, the female king of pentacles. This female king of pentacles feels very relaxed. It, she feels like, she feels, yeah. okay. It doesn't feel like she has her pentacles yet. Okay. It just feels like the pentacles are all up in her head. Like she has all of the resources she needs in her head and she's able to create the beautiful world that she wants to create and she's going to create it. Because if, if you notice here, it only a part of the pentacle is showing. It's not showing in full bloom, but it's all around her, right? It's all within the flowers. So it feels like the, you have a partial of something. And once you figure this part out, the full of the full pentacle comes into play. I hope that makes sense. I'll get, again, I'll get some clarifiers because it feels like you're in a, a transitional phase right now. I mean, all of this feels transitional. feels like this is what you've gone through. You're going through and you're building towards, but you're still in a, it feels like a pretty significant, I wouldn't say massive, but I would say significant pivotal moment in your life where there's a lot of changes. Okay. It just feels like there's a lot of changes. Um, I'm getting the ohm sound. Uh, so maybe some of you are meditating, meditating or some form uh, or doing some form of meditating, whether you're sitting in silence or, or like literally meditating. I don't know, but I'm getting the ohm sound. Maybe you're listening to sounds, uh, like, uh, sounds that kind of, uh, settle you and ground you. So like musical therapy, perhaps, but it brings you a lot of joys. Also what I'm getting here with this death card, whatever seeds you're planting, whatever seeds you're planting here, you will have in, it will come into fruition. I'm seeing seven, seven, seven. This is a very lucky time for you. I don't feel like it's going to start in May. I feel like you're going to see the sprinkles of miracles. And then maybe in seven months time, that's when things start like kind of happening. Okay. But it all comes down to the balancing act and really taking a good look at the things that are around you right now in order to create this, right? This new world, this new phase, the, the new spark, the new inspiration. It feels like you may have a lot of ideas now, but really inspect each of those ideas. What's going to be the most fruitful to you overall, not just financially, but that's going to bring you true joy. Okay. So take that, how that resonates. And then of course we, I didn't even discuss the wheel of fortune um, at the bottom of the deck. It just feels it feels like 
you were halted for such a long time. It, it almost feels like there was something stuck in these gears that was preventing you from moving forward. But all along, you had time in your hand. You, you had it all right here in your hand. All you had to do was remove whatever was keeping you stuck so that you were able to move forward and these gears were able to move you along. You had it all along. But now it feels like you also had to learn some sort of lesson from back here because she's looking in the past. But it's this is all about you making your way the way you want to make your way. All right. Something that was back there, back in the past, whatever that was, was meant to happen. Okay. It was meant to happen. Okay. What do I want? I want, I want a card for the, um, I want a card for the seven of swords. Okay. That was fast. The lovers and the seven of swords in reverse. Okay. Okay. Whatever this was, it feels like the choice made you, almost. Whatever this was, it feels like the choice made you. You didn't make the choice, although you were considering the choice, the choice made you. It's almost like the circumstances of whatever this was, it, it, whatever that was, it thrusted you forward, okay? So back to this wheel of fortune, whatever, whatever was stuck in this gear and you had the ability to remove and possibly you did not, it feels like the universe said, no, it's time. Okay. Whatever that, whatever that looks like, I don't know what that is, but um, I just saw the emperor. It could have been um, in regards to very strict rules or guidelines or um, some rigid form of of living. Um, so perhaps you were in a work environment that had a lot of rules and regulations, or perhaps you were in a relationship where that was a little controlling or whatever that looks like for you. It's going to be different for everybody, but um, that those were some of the things that popped up with that emperor that showed up. All right. Um, can I have a card here for this page of wands? Okay. For this page of wands, we have judgment. That's judgment twice. And judgment did come out in the pre-shuffle judgment, the world in reverse and two of cups. Okay. Whatever you're looking into, if it does not align, if it does not align with your soul's purpose, it feels like you're wasting your time. It's not going to thrust you forward the way you think it's going to thrust you forward. Okay. So really get back to that intuition and feel more awake. Don't be disillusioned, right? These are all the things that we talked about in the very beginning of the reading. Don't be dis disillusioned. Be awake. Turn on the light. Inspect things. Because there is something that you're looking into to try to create, but it doesn't really align with you. It may have at one point, which is probably why you're considering pursuing it, but it doesn't feel like it's aligned anymore. Okay. All right. Take a picture of this because this is super, 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 super important. Okay. I, I want to make sure that that is very clear. I'm going to move these down the way because I feel like that is very, very important here with the page of wands. Okay. I'm going to move this up because this is, this is vital. This is a huge turning point for you. All right. Can you see all the cards? Yes. Okay. Great. All right.
All right, and we have the Hierophant. At the bottom of the deck, you may be considering learning something. Um, the Hierophant is about learning, teaching, a higher learning, you know what I mean? So you may be considering that. I suggest, and this is what Spirit is suggesting, really looking into it. Does this piece still fit into whatever whatever door you're trying to unlock moving forward. Does that key still fit before deciding really rest upon this decision? Really consider it deeply. Very, very, very important. Very interesting. We have the King of Wands, female King of Wands and King of Wands here. Go with your instincts. The the wands have, not only are they fully inspired, go towards the thing that inspires you. Go towards the thing that inspires you and go towards um, that intuition. The, the wands, uh, court cards are very intuitive. Go towards your intuition. All right, let's get advice. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of, oh, we have the sun. We have the ace of swords, death and the star. Look, sun and star. This to me is a glow up, specifically with the ace of swords. Specifically with the ace of swords. Okay. This to me is a glow up. As advice. It feels like you should go towards the thing that genuinely brings you joy because that's what's going to give you the victory. It feels like you need to, again, switch, switch that mindset of what it is you think you should do and feel, feel what you should do. Because that is where it's going to allow you to, well, that's seven of swords. Sorry, here. So all, here are all the sevens. That's what's going to bring you the abundance that you're looking for, okay? Whatever that looks like for you, that's what's going to bring it, okay? Yeah, seven, seven. God, we have so many sevens on the board. All right. Um, do I need to clarify anything else? No. Okay. Uh, I'll come. No. Okay. Um, this one, they say no, and yes, okay. Empress at the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Outcome. Sometimes you have to realize that you can't be overly uh, strong, right? And, and what I mean by that is, again, whatever, like strong-willed, right? Like sometimes you have to pull back. Just, you, you can't, it feels like you were in the energy of do, 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 do. And I feel like that's what you're like, oh, I'm inspired to do this because I need to X, Y, Z, whatever that X, Y, Z means for you, right? This is saying, as far as an outcome is concerned, pull back, pull back, right? 
pull back. Don't, don't just jump into something. See if it's really worth it because if it's not aligned, it's not going to bring you the abundance that you're seeking. Okay. That's the third time that shows up. So very important for you, Leo. Very important. Don't just truck on through. Don't just truck on through. Pull back. Pull back. This is the queen of wands in reverse. Pull back. Right? Both. Strength. I mean, all of these cards are all in reverse as far as an outcome. Pull back to see if it really still aligns with you. Whatever that is, I don't know, but you know. Obviously, you know. All right, um, final message here. You get two cards. We have find balance at the bottom of the deck. Music and celebration. Listen carefully for uh, there may be a message in music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. Remember I said something about the ohm that I felt? I don't remember what card I felt it, but I felt in, I felt it in one of these cards. I, I felt ohm, uh, like in, and I mentioned something about music therapy. Music therapy may, um, may settle your thoughts and align you a lot better to something. And that can bring you to the joy that you want. It may not bring you quick joy or not quick joy, but quick abundance, right? But it may give you the right seed to plant properly to give you the abundance that you're seeking, okay? And then we have the celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Listen, sometimes the most miraculous things show up in unexpected ways. This invitation, I feel like this invitation is what's going to help you redirect something. This isn't something that you were thinking of. This is something that is presented to you that causes you to think, right? Think about this, about something that's new and go, huh, is this, is this better for me? Because here this reads, find the balance between work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take power, take a power nap, okay? That's what that feels like. That's what that feels like. All right, my beautiful ones. I hope this did resonate. If it did, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And until we meet again, bye.